Welcome back to our channel. Today's video is on another topic I'm asked about continuously. We're going to discuss what happens when the police obtains evidence through illegal means. I'm referring to the exclusionary rule also known as the fruit of the poisonous tree doctrine. But before we start, hit the subscribe button. Each week we're breaking down the essentials of criminal law while sharing information that can be useful in your defense strategy. During the course of a criminal investigation, the police will attempt to gather relevant evidence. There are established procedures designed to ensure that the police don't violate anyone's Fourth Amendment rights against unlawful search and seizure. When those rights are violated, the exclusionary rule will prevent the prosecution from using the poisonous evidence that was improperly obtained and any other fruit or any other information that follows as a result. Here is how it can affect you. Police officers are required to make reports whenever certain things take place. This includes any time there is a discovery of evidence that relates to a criminal matter. The police description of how events occurred can be the key to getting a charge against you dismissed. An attorney that is adept at handling criminal cases will be able to analyze the report for any detail that indicates information was improperly obtained. They may request an exclusion of the evidence for a number of reasons, such as the police obtained the information as a result of an illegal search of a person, place, or vehicle. The search was legal, but the information was discovered because the police searched beyond the scope of what was allowed, or the police obtained the information as a result of an illegal arrest. Those are just some of the examples that could occur. However, courts may allow illegally obtained evidence to be used under certain circumstances. These exceptions to the exclusionary rule include the following. First, the evidence was discovered from a source independent of the illegal activity. Second, the discovery of the evidence was inevitable. Third, there is an attenuation or weakening of the relationship between the illegal activity and the discovery of the evidence. Fourth and finally, the officers acted in good faith. If the officers believe that they were acting in good faith when they illegally obtained the evidence, the court will allow it. Remember, when it comes to getting information excluded from evidence, the earlier in the process you can make this happen, the more positive the outcome may be in your case. If you become involved in any type of law enforcement search, be sure to talk to an attorney as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. You can also leave a comment or reach out to our office with any questions you may have. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.